And this is the round where we have a number of questions prepared for our teammates. And uh, of course, the range and difficulty. And now, if you joined us last week on Quiz Beach Junior, you'll notice that we do have a chance card that our students are able to use. And this basically works where before the question is read out, if you have a category you want to use the chance card on, you simply buzz in and raise it again before the question. That's right. Here's the thing, though. You have to do this if you're really confident, because let's say you use the chance card and you get it wrong, well, you're going to be deducted 100 points. And the chance card will allow that team to be the only team to answer for that category. And of course, you only have one chance card for this entire round. All right. So with that, let's first take a look at the categories you'll be facing today. <laughs> now, All right. So we have a predetermined order that our production team came up with. But at the same time, though, I want to go first on this one. Yes. We've been talking a lot of sports. We talked about baseball. We have a fan of the Lions. We had baseball as one of the answers in one of our games. So I'm going to go with sports. Of course. So sports for 100. Listen carefully. Listen carefully to the following dialogue. So, Ashley, what have you been up to these days? You know, I haven't been seeing you around. Well, you know, honestly, I've been uh, trying a new challenge these days. Challenge? What kind of new challenge? Well, here's the thing. I kind of want to be a pacemaker. Pacemaker? Whatever for? Well, here's the thing. I think it's more like I'm preparing for this sport. So I think by being a pacemaker, it will really help me out. Huh, pacemaker, huh? Well, good luck on that new goal of yours. Thank you. Here is the question. The pacemaker the man is trying to become refers to a person used in this sport to set the pace for participants. The pacemaker runs next to participants in order to help them maintain an adequate pace. This sport was a taboo issue for the longest time in Iran. What is this sport? And Lucky four. Yes. Marathon. Marathon. That is correct. All right, let's see what our next category is. Music for 200. French composer Camille Saint-Saëns used many instruments to mimic animals. In the Cuckoo in the Depths of the Woods you are listening to, he used the piano to create a woodland atmosphere, while he used this instrument to imitate the cry of the cuckoo. In orchestral music, this instrument is the only woodwind instrument to use a single reed. What is the name of this? Apple. Clarinet. Clarinet. Yes, that is correct. Seon was able to bring that one in, and that gives them 200 points. That's right. All right, let's take a look at our next category and question. Why science for 300? Ooh. Any chance takers? Nope. Let's take a listen. This is said to have been named after a Viking who unified Scandinavia. Most wireless speakers these days use this technology to play music without the need of audio cables. This is a wireless networking technology. Apple. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Very good job. More and more things becoming wireless and Bluetooth these days, so I'm sure that's a word they're familiar with. 300 points added for Apple. That's right. That is changing the way the game looks right now, but still we have many more questions to take a listen to. Speaking of which, what is our next category? 
historical figures for 100. Two of the prizes established by the UNESCO have relationships to South Korea. One of them rewards contribution to the promotion of literacy and was named after this man. This man of the Joseon dynasty created the Hunmin Jeongum. And that would be Lucky Four's Jim. King Sejong. King Sejong. That is correct. This is a very, very close game right now. Not even 100 points apart. Not at all. But the good news is there's still a lot of more questions left, right? So next category is... Why Art for 300? These works were made by Pablo Picasso using this technique. This technique consists of composing a work of art by pasting on a single... Lucky four. Collage. Collage. Wow! Collage! That was worth 300 points for you guys. You guys are taking the lead back. Now remember, both our teams still have their chances left and there's two more questions. So once again, if you want to use it, ring your buzzer and hold up your chance card. Let's see what our next category is. Medals for 200. No chance no takers. All, All right. right. Most bacteria are said to die when coming in contact with this metal. When touching highly poisonous ingredients such as blowfish eggs or certain mushrooms, this metal changes color. And that would be lucky for it seems that Chium once again pressed it. Silver. Silver. Yes. With this point difference, lucky four, you guys are in the lead by 460 points, which means today, the winner of Quiz Wiz Junior will be lucky four. Congratulations to you guys. Wow, so that was so neck and neck. Look, first of all, let's talk a little bit with Apple. I mean, you guys, how come you didn't choose to use the chance card? He was afraid of uh, minus 100 points. That's right. That is one thing that you have to also take into consideration. If you get it wrong, eh, minus 100. Metal is right. not that easy of a category, it I think. It sounds kind of a little bit, uh, I don't know, scary, right? Well, you guys still did a really great job. As for Lucky Four, what's your secret? How did you guys prepare for this? We actually didn't prepare anything except a little bit of the logo. Go, go, go. Oh, wow. Not a lot of preparation, but hey, maybe just watch some of the episodes here on Quiz Wiz Junior, and that might have been enough, I right? think they study well normally, right? <laughs> okay, so let's first of all give a big round of applause to Lucky Four and, of course, Apple as well for coming in second. like you and I, Ashte. I'm sure they're learning as much as we are with every question that these intelligent students are able to pull through. 
In fact, we look forward to meeting more of such students from Korea. That's right. We always welcome more contestants here on our program. And if you're interested in being part of Quiz Wiz Junior, all you have to do is log on to www.arirang.com. Go to Quiz Wiz Junior and let us know. All right. So we look forward to meeting with you guys. But until then, it's time to say goodbye. That's right. It's time to say goodbye. But we'll see you guys again same time here on Quiz Wiz Junior.